Across England, there are some very questionable away ends. You can be in a temporary stand at Gillingham, put on the side at Forest Green, or even extremely restricted views at Everton. But have you got to an away end through someone's back garden? Yes, that is right. Today I'll be witnessing and experiencing the famous Luton Town away end. There is no stand like it in the UK, which makes it very unique. Entering under someone's house, climbing up the stairs of someone's back garden, and overlooking everyone's private property. Looking at articles online, this stadium is described very negatively. Some say it's run down, the worst away day in England, an absolute shit hole, but this is probably due to the lack of investment and development. Some also say if you're sat in the first 10 rows, you're actually beneath the ground, which I do find very hard to believe. I've purchased a ticket in the away end today, so I'll be knocking on someone's front door for my entry today. This is going to be an experience, a club I have massive respect for, Luton Town, Kenilworth Road, what have you got for me? So we're en route to Luton and I must say I've read so many articles, I probably should not have read any of them. So I don't want to slag off the town so much. I want to get the positives from this stadium, from this visit, from this adventure and hopefully we see some positives through this trip. One thing which does scream a bit of Luton is this weather, look at this. Everyone says how dull this is, but nevertheless we're en route and it is a bit rainy. in the wet and gloomy Luton now ahead of the game so far um, not great signs but nevertheless it's not about that Bristol City on form Luton Town they're flying in the championship right now so I'm excited for the game and excited for this experience I had to at least treat myself to a good hotel though I have to come on at least worst comes to worst for Luton we have actually got a decent room look at this very modern very pleasant it will do the job for one night we really are going through the depths of Luton here down some alleyways to the stadium it's just how you get to there 30 minutes till kickoff still need to collect our tickets and still need to knock on the front door for the entry right let's hope this is the point where I have to collect my ticket maybe I was wrong it's actually the other side and we're meant to be collecting the ticket at the away end so we're just collecting it from the neighbour definitely some weird place to get down to it though through alleys through houses you can literally just see you through any of these private properties the away end should be down here here it is the first glance at the away end the famous away end your house is around it and then there's the way to go through literally under someone's house you'll never see this at any stadium in england this is what we've come for we're outside the famous oak stand away end and on entry we scan our tickets and i cannot believe we're finally ticking off this iconic away end which is luton town and believe me it was a bit of a squeeze to get through how's that for a squeeze here he is proper old school the concourse was so different to the norm and this has been a unique experience so far we've gone under someone's house look at this this is something very old with character we're finally experiencing the football geek i am i've always wanted to experience and see this away end it's not every game you go through someone's house and overlook their gardens don't want to look for any any windows just in case anything appropriate is happening the famous away end if you're low down like we are right now it's actually a really good view it's got a lot of history behind it very old i like this i really do like this i'm not gonna lie it's got a lot of character the wooden seat a proper wooden as well you you sit on that it feels like benches at PE. I don't really know what to say about this stand on the left, but I suppose that's where the hospitality owners, everyone sits there. I presume anyway. I shouldn't know. That's pretty well the owners here, thinking about it. What is going on here? <laughs> Dear me. Can we go home now? <laughs> Can we go now, please? Players are actually on the field now. Before kickoff gets underway, I want to know your opinions on this stadium, so comment down below what you think after seeing what I've shown you. Here we go, we are underway. Wow. Well, that was a bit easy. That was a bit easy. Two minutes in, three minutes in, four into the box. Morris is there to head home. And that's one no lead. It might be two. Goal line clearance. Could be 2-0 already. And it probably should have been. How long do you think they'll lose it? Because it could be quite soon. A little pun up the field? Yeah. And they've lost it. That has been a prime example of what's been happening this game. Could be 2-0. It's a red if it's a foul. It's a red if it's a foul. It's a red if it's a foul. Double save. The camber. I've 
One thing I like about this ground as well, you're so close to the pitch. I know looking at the other end is very difficult. But I like being this close to the pitch. This was meant to be a video about slagging off the stadium and saying how bad it is, but I can't just look at the positives of the stadium and seeing what's good about it. <laughs> And that is the half time whistle. How was your walk up the stairs to the South Park Garden? I slipped twice. Slipped twice? Slipped twice. Yeah. You know, when you're actually looking like that, it's not too bad. Inside, it's not too bad. Like, you're close to the pitch. Here we go, then. Second half. Anything like the first half, and this could be 4 0 Luton. If they score, it'd be a miracle. What's going to go on here? No way. No way. No! It's straight at the keeper. If he's down the corner, I've got to I was like, corner, I think it is. Corner needs to play, by the way. If he's down the net, that would have been carnage. It's so going to go with Sun's back garden now. Ah, oh, straight down the middle. At least it was on target. And that has been Luton Town in the away end. We've gone through someone's house underneath. We've gone up the stairs to South Park Garden. But in the end, the football, the Luton Town did win in the end. If Luton Town gets the Premier League, the world's gone mad. But then again, they're such a well structured club. They lost their manager and everyone thought they'd go downhill. He said they're still going up. Here. They're going in one direction. They're well run. And I must say, Premier League. Could be coming for Luton. And you would never have thought that in a stadium like this. Manager showing passion. No Nathan Jones, but he's doing the job. No one expected. Whoever said that 10 rows and you're beneath the pitch is a complete liar. I have visited the worst football stadium in England. This has been an experience I will not forget and will never have similar again. Luton Town, you have all my respect. An old traditional ground with a lot of character. I really approve.